stuff. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to resemble a rocket launcher. I'm never really sure, but I'm. That's what I think it's supposed to be. They call it a cohorn, which um, I'm from Canada, and we don't really. <laughs> that's not the term used here. So, so let's see what's what's going on out here. Um, I think we're gonna have to recruit some more troops and maybe face some lighter resistance in Japanese territory because I'm not liking this right now. Um, maybe start doing some quests for a lord in the uh, <clears throat> in the eighth root army. That'd be pretty interesting. So we'll just uh, we'll see what's going on. Yeah, it appears as if I've lost all my um. Oh, yeah, see my renown's not that high. My morale's pretty low too. So let's try moving out to Praven and see if there's any uh quests available out there. The mod really is fantastic. Um. Oh, look at this looters. I don't know. I don't know about this. Okay. So it'd just be me versus nine of them. I got like 12 bullets. Okay. Let's try it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How about you run? <laughs> you run and I'll let you live. Sound good? Fair trade? <laughs> Alright. I think we should have focused a little more on um combat skills initially versus these... uh trade and stuff but you know what in real life you don't really get to pick your attributes so at least we got some in iron flesh that's probably what saved me that last one from getting completely overwhelmed well i was completely overwhelmed but i took some of them down with me all right so i think what i'll do is use my horse as cover and shoot from back here once they crest that hill here we go this thing does not have the range for this kind of fighting Oh, headshot. Well, you know what? If I can get enough shots off, I can always just run. See, I don't want nine guns coming to bear on me, so get these sh bullets off as fast as I can. Maybe use those two just for retreating. Alright. Let's get out of here. I'm lucky that I chose that nobleman because uh, otherwise I wouldn't have that flag and it'd be really hard to find that chest. Because normally um, you don't have that flag and you're sitting there looking around in the dark for half an hour while you're getting shot at. I don't know a whole bunch about the uh, Chinese history in this era. The only real source I have is a game, um, Hearts of Iron, which is an excellent game. But um, I'm not exactly sure how historically accurate that is. So um, as far as I know, there were two major factions. And they, they were the, those were the Chinese Central Army and the uh, communist army, and these were always battling for power over China, but, um, yeah, these were always battling for power over China, but they had to uh, kind of join forces against the, uh, the Japanese invaders. Oh, that was a nice headshot. You know what? I got more mobility than these guys. I think we might just, just survive this. They seem to be taking a bunch down. Let's make it just one behind me. Oh, headshot. Oh. This is great. Let's bayonet this guy. <laughs> That's more like it. Eat ice. Sub Zero's ice. All right, you know what? We'll finish these guys off hand to hand. Oops. Or just hit him with the horse. That works too. There we go. That one down. I don't like pistols at close range. Let's get this bastard. Oh, missed. Alright, let's shoot him in the leg. Alright. Oh, or just blow his brains all over the ground. That works too. <laughs> Alright, regardless, we won this one. Yay, victory dance. <laughs> okay, so we got nine looters. Let's see what we get out of this. This is very important, killing off other parties, because you get things like this, bullets... Otherwise, because you can't buy them in towns, I could show you at the marketplace, but you cannot buy these things. Okay, let's see, 14.6, not a chance. Okay, oh wait, 17.6, I like this better. Don't really need the leg armor, but you know what, whatever. 30, 
30 weapon, weapon reach, okay. Oh, wait. This one has a lot more reach. This will be... Oh. I don't have the strength for it. Okay. So let's just take all this. Worry about everything else later. You can still sell stuff. At, and I'll show you Praven. That was the biggest surprise to me. Whenever I first downloaded this mod, I'm going, where the hell is the uh, the weapons vendor? But there is none. There's the Needleman, which is like the armor merchant, horse merchant, and the goods merchant. So I'm clicking on the Needleman. Well, maybe he sells guns, but there's, there's nothing here. It's just uh, things like gloves and that. Uh, I might actually grab a pair of gloves if they're cheap enough. Oh, God. No, never mind. Never mind. See, now, why would you ever buy this? It just adds weight and it costs money. Maybe to look more awesome, but Chuck Norris doesn't wear gloves, so don't worry about it. <laughs> so, let's uh, sell off all this stuff. You know what? I like my guy, how he looks. I don't really want to put that on. So, these, well, this one phallic in here might be useful. Um, I don't need these boots. A musket in this game is not the traditional flintlock musket kind of thing. It's a shotgun. So, it takes very long to reload, but it does do a significant amount of damage, and it can hit more than one person, which to me is pretty pretty awesome. But I might keep these bullets for my troops. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'll keep that musket, too. Just for uh, for more people. Horses, I mine works, and goods. I don't think I'm going to be much of a trader. I think I'm going to be more of a bandit, just killing people and stealing their stuff. Or forest bandits. Okay, we might do this. Can we recruit anyone? We cannot. Okay. There's seven of them. I just killed like nine normal ones that are scratched, so let's get them. Okay, how about this? You run away now, and all you'll have to give me is your weapons. No, they don't like that plan. Okay. Whatever. Their parents didn't love them anyways. Why else would they be bandits? <laughs> Alright. Let's finish these guys off. Teach them a lesson. I need to get some more, um... Some more pistol ammo. Because if I... I can't really just keep making these little trips. It leaves me vulnerable whenever I have to go back. <clears throat> okay, this time I might get a little closer. I like to get up on these hills. Maybe use them as some cover. The problem is, if I, uh... If my horse gets hit by these bullets, he likes to run away. And if he starts running, I am screwed, because I'll get mobbed by these guys. Oh, uh, yeah, see, they've opened fire already. I might shoot my horse here. I don't even know if I'm more accurate here, but I am. I do have a small... Oh! Headshot. That was cool. Okay, reload. Get another ten bullets off. Oh, headshot. These bullets do like to fly up, don't they? Oh, come on. Ooh. That got him. Alright, I've only got two left. Oh, crap. Yeah, see, the horse took some damage here. Oh, well, he'll live. Out of ammo. Alright, you know what? I don't even need to make a run this time. They aren't worth my bullets. So let's try not to miss this time. Alright, here we go. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. China Battlefield. One, oops. <laughs> I knocked him out with the horse, awesome. Here we go, all three down. I am God. Alright, looks like we've won. Oh, look, see, more bullets. Let's see if they actually have them in this menu. Oh, looks like we've captured some. Awesome. Oh, also you disarm them whenever you, uh, you win, so they just come in that form. Uh, no. See, these these uh, bullets aren't pistol bullets, I don't think. I'm pretty sure they have to be uh, the right caliber, so let's just take these. Another Mauser. Um, it comes with one in the chamber, so... Actually, I'd rather take this musket. How much is 13? Yeah. So I'll take that musket. And it looks like my guy can use some upgrades, so let's upgrade my character a little. He's gone up two levels. Um, I'm not sure what we should do here. I think he would need some strength because to use that phallicin and for iron flesh. So let's give him power strike too. We seem to be using that more often. Um, automatic weapons. I think that's probably only we're gonna, all we're going to be using because I'm not sure what that counts for. I think it was before it was only 80 so let's just get our automatic weapons up. 
maybe some one-handed. All right, cool. There we go. So now let's start killing some more guys. Get a oh no, I have a better idea. We'll, we'll do some quests for King Harless. It'll involve killing people, guaranteed. So let's go to the castle. As you can see, the guards in this game are different. They are uh, oh, they are not. I think these are um, just generic. I'm pretty sure you can't even use these guys, but they do look pretty awesome with their uh, looks like a Mose and a Gaunt or something like that. I think they're called Haiyang Hai Maid or something like that. Do I know you? I am Sub Zero at your service. Um. Okay, looks like he's looking for people to fight, so. I don't think he'll accept me as a vassal unless I have some more renown. I mean, I wouldn't accept me, so let's see if he has any tasks. Oh! What an asshole. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, see, I'm not a competent commander yet, so. I think we may have to go kill some Japanese before he considers us. Oh, oh like, see, you can also turn your prisoners into laborers, which is a good idea because, um,. It increases the town's efficiency. So what we might do, if we can't get any work at the town, we'll probably go to a village and see if we can get any work at a village. Oh, what's this? Two forest bandits. Easy pickings. For a trinket. Oh, that's wonderful. Alright, one versus two. Shouldn't even bother with a gun this time. I can't show you guys a shotgun, though. That might hit something. See, it already comes with one in the chamber. See? And if it's a double barrel, it would come with two. So let's see if we can get... Is this just a single barrel, or...? Yeah, it looks like it's just the one. Look, it does look like there's a flint lock on that one, doesn't it? Well, it may differ. I don't know. Maybe there's... I actually have looked at the, um... The little guide, the... Thing, the game, or the mod comes with a guide, and it explains what it is. So I, I think it said it refers to any oh, any homemade uh, weapon. Oh, see, I missed him. Let's we'll see if it is double barrel. Does not appear so. Okay. That's why you don't auto fire. Oops. Uh, we need some longer reach on one of these weapons. Uh, see, I'd like an axe or something like that. Oh, there we go. Impaled him. So they always seem to have awesome weapons here, but you never seem to be able to loot them. Maybe we can get some ammo. No, nothing. Alright, well, we do have some weaponry for somebody that would like to join for any more troops, so... What I might do actually is um, switch this out for that double barreled one. Cause how, of how often do you have a double barreled rifle if you're a double barreled shotguns, but not rifles, so. Oh, Emerin. That seems like a good place to get a job. Let's go to the village center. I spelled center wrong. Well, the American way, whatever. The guy that made this game is Turkish, apparently, so. Okay, let's check out this village. Kill some innocents while we're here. <laughs> see, now wouldn't that be awesome? Alright, let's see what the village elder would have to say here. You're the leader. Okay, I don't we're interested in any of this. I have a bad reputation here, but I'm willing to change it. Okay. Oh, God, no, I'm not paying. Oh, wonderful. I've gotten even worse. Bandits. Okay, I'm an experienced warrior. Um. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be training some villagers. Awesome. Okay, I can do that. Hey, you. Learn. That's the best way. They screw up, just shoot him in the head. Okay. Oh, we can recruit some volunteers. Wonderful, we got a farmer. Alright, now let's train some peasants. Eleven hours, holy crap. Okay, well we don't got much better to do. So, we are training them as we speak. I would like to know more about...